our edible earth today. We're looking in the classroom. We look at our warm ups. Correct. It's hard before I started. No. But a couple things. I want you to take a moment to make sure you have everything turned in. Right? Because, you know, stuff happens and we get busy. We might have started something and we didn't actually finish it. So, first check in classroom, go to view your work, your to do list, and make sure that your root monsters. And then all your egg puzzles, with your energy ones and your density ones, are finished and turned in. And your density gives not. Remember, that's a lab grade, just like a quiz grade. So double check that those things are done. If they're not, handle them as soon as possible. And the next tutoring is Friday morning. So come in and ask questions. And if you physically are here, come in. If not, do. Um, the link is on classroom. So come in and get some help or ask questions. But before we get started with today's stuff, and you can pause the video. And on Classroom, you'll see the Ed Puzzle, let's make a scientific drawing. And so we'll go there in a second. But these sketches, these are Leonardo da Vinci. You didn't know, some of us see the sketches. And sometimes in science, we'll make sketches. And it's not um, art for art's sake, but some of them are really beautiful and considered art. We do it to inform. Okay, so it's not our interpretation of what it is. It's not postmodern. It's not cubism. It's what it really looks like. Okay, so you'll watch the Ed Puzzle, that is right here, so let's make a scientific drawing. After you've watched that, you come back to this video. So here's your warm-up. We are doing a lot of examining models, specifically of Earth. And you need to be able to pick a part of model and tell me its strengths, which is how is it like the real thing. Okay, so here for your hot pocket, right? I know it's silly, but roll with it. <coughs> How is it like real life? Well, it does have crust. It's got um, some liquid layers. It's got different materials on the inside. This one, you know, it's the hot pocket. Has an increased temperature. Okay, but as far as limitations, you know, you might say it's not the same size. And that's fine, but we need an elevator game. You might say it doesn't have the same mass or doesn't have the same volume. It's not the correct temperature. Right? And then the materials that are not quite the state of matter of the real earth. Okay. Now notice here, this particular model of the earth, this has one, not before, it's one eighth of it taken out. Or if you think about the one that's with our notes, that's like it's chopped in half. Or let's see, this one from a while back was kind of like a, a triangular piece. When we're looking forward to our making a model, it doesn't matter which of those profiles you choose. It doesn't matter to me that whatever suits um, what you're trying to do and the materials you have is totally fine with me. Okay, so if you're thinking about your building a model, right, it's going to be due later this week. Model over here, model of Earth Cleaning Project. So you have a Google Slides. <laughs> so you're going to answer some questions about it, but it's a real model. It doesn't have to be fancy. You don't have to go to the craft store or Home Depot. There's things around the house, things in the kitchen, things in the, um, the garage, things in the bathroom. Those things are fine. The main instructions are on slide two. It's a 3D model, so it can't just be a picture. It's definitely not one you got off the internet. But it tells you, you know, how to do it, what it has to include. So a lot of people ask, does it have to be food products? No, we just talk about food because it's kind of a common language among dogs. And it makes sure, like a lot of the food things we're looking at, like even the Hot Pocket just now, or the candy bars we're going to have about a second, are too simple. They only include three compositional layers instead of these five, which are the mechanical layers. That's what your model is going to include, are these five. So you'll have some slides to figure out about what material did you use for it and why did you choose it. Was it color, texture, state of matter? And just don't put color. What about color? So make sure you're clear here in your explanations. This is where you'll attach a photo of it, um, or if you'd rather take a video to kind of explain it, or if you need to turn it around and different things, you can put that here, like a link to your <coughs> video. <coughs> and the last part, kind of like what we just practiced with our Hot Pocket, three limitations of your model. All right, you just can't put sides. Right, you need to clarify. This is not the place for a one word answer. What about the size? You have your limitations. Like if, oh, the strengths are kind of included here. Like it's kind of embedded stuff. Okay. So back to your due date. As long as you have an A or B date, here are your due dates. And this is going to count like a quiz grade. Okay. It's going to be a mini project. This is not full blown, big time. It doesn't have to be complex. 
complex. It doesn't have to be expensive. It just needs to be an effective model of their search. Now for today's stuff. Sorry, we missed a little chocolate. We did edible earths, and you can kind of look at the layout of my page. And I'm going to show you my actual journals, and I did a different candy for every class period. But we're learning how to do scientific sketches. Um, and we're learning like what an aerial view is and a cross section or a profile. And on the left side, we put what it actually like is it chocolate, is it caramel, is it peanut, whatever it actually is. And on the right side, we put what it represented. Would that be the crust or the lithosphere? Would that be core? What would that part of the candy bar reflect of? And depending on the type of candy bar you have, you might have more or less layers. Right? So everybody's will be a little different depending on which one you choose. I both in Sony. I don't have any chocolate. Fear not. I have attached uh, three of the cross sections that I did. There, you can pick any one of them. You can kind of play, hmm, which candy bar is that? And put here are three different ones so you can even pair them against each other. Right? So you can use one of those to help you out. And then, of course, you can properly dispose of your lab materials. It's a rough day in science. But that's what we did. We worked our way through doing sketches, uh, making them realistic, right, the best we can, and that's just a practice skill like anything else. So this was the main activity for the day. Then we'll finish if you owe me work to do it. But let's say I don't. I am all caught up, handling business with none. Then I'm going to do my layers of earth knowledge check. So you've got a Google form there. Do not rush. A lot of people will rush through, click, 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 and then their score is bad. Oh, can I do a redo? Did you come to tutoring? No. Did you ask me any questions? No. Did you open your notebook and look at your notes? No. There's your answers right there. Okay, so a good thing to do with these knowledge checks is open it up, answer everything you can, okay, make your best intelligent guess. Then, look at your notes, because that's why we keep them. Okay, and if you open your notes and they're not complete or they're hard to read, you can pull up my science notebook. There it is. I have every page we've ever done ready for you. Okay, so keep your science notebook squared away. So you can use that on assessment. So it like hurts my heart when your science notebook is a mess. Okay, so knock that out. So just for fun, I'll show you some of my drawings from the different tabs. So this one was obviously Snickers. So this is the Snickers bar. So just notice the difference between the drawings. And this one was three musketeers. Alright, so notice the difference. It doesn't have as much um, variety on the inside of the cereals. Cereal sketch is pretty good. I made a crack on that one on purpose. So if you're talking about the tectonics and the little spirit plate that we're going to move into our next section. I just came up with a conversation for that class. Your touch hooks. And you can kind of relate that to the pictures that I'm going to show you. There's my hooks keeper. And my baby Ruth. New word, most kids in our day was nougat. And so that stuff inside that's not caramel, that's nougat. There's different kinds, like a variety of candy. Like taffy, there's strawberry taffy, etc. There's different variations, or you can see taffy, there's chocolate chip, it's a pretty one. Pick it up if you like, I still don't understand what you did. That's how you spell it. So that's what's on the inside. And then, kind of my saddest one, note to self, I didn't include the picture, is the Butterfinger. It was a hot mess. Like cutting it, it, it shattered into like a thousand little pieces. It was not worth taking a picture of, but it had a lot of layers, so that was good. Um, but it's like a taco, so I gave it a little bit of color. And so, I don't know, it's a little bit of color. So, that's a better finger if that's what you have. And so, just can you kind of see, depending on the type of candy bar you had, that's what your model would have looked like. So, just for research purposes, you could cut a bunch of candy bars, and then, of course, have to properly dispose of them. But try to identify what the different layers would be in that particular candy bar model. So, remember, I told you I keep one for a class, right? Hello. Okay, so do this. Okay, so if you have any questions, don't forget you can send me messages on the classroom.
like or you can do. Let me know if you need help.